Then we have Brad Katona taking on Garrett Armfield. Brad Katona, I don't, this may not be a true statement, but he, I think he's the only two-time Ultimate Fighter winner. The only one I could think of, let me know if I'm wrong. But he won the Ultimate Fighter 31, and he won that in a Fight of the Night War at UFC 292. But that wasn't the first time he won the Ultimate Fighter. He was also on Season 27, and he won that one as well. So two-time Ultimate Fighter winner, and he has a submission over Bryce Mitchell. You're not going to see that as professional record, but he did it in the Ultimate Fighter house for Season 27. Style-wise, he's a mobile striker. He's got power. He's got volume. While he is primarily a striker, he is aware enough to transition to wrestling when he needs to. He's got great low kicks, solid takedown defense, and plenty of cardio. He's taking on Garrett Armfield. This guy's a technical striker. He's going to double up his jab. He'll switch his stance back and forth. He's always working forward, but he stays controlled, and he doesn't take too many risks. He does a good job kicking the legs before coming up top. He has solid takedown defense, and while he doesn't typically look for offensive takedowns, he does have clean power, and he works shots in well. Power with his takedowns. He's coming off that knockout over Tashiomi Kazama, where striking looked really clean, and he touched him up pretty early. This should be a fun striker versus striker matchup. Both of these guys are busy. Both of them have cardio. Both of them can drop their opponents, and neither guy is going to be looking to wrestle. I am going to pick Brad here, though, because I think his footwork, his volume is going to be the difference. I think he can stay mobile, stay busy enough that when Garrett slows down later... He's going to take over. Should be a pretty close fight, though. 29, 28, something like that. The odds are definitely wide. Brad Katana is almost a 2-1 to one favorite here. I don't see it being that wide, but I do think he gets it done. Confidence level, I would say medium. 2-1 to one favorite, and if I believe in that, that's high. I think he should be like minus 130, something like that. Because Garrett Armfield is a good striker. I don't know why people don't think he is. But anyway, Brad Katana should be able to get this done just with sheer mobility and footwork. Guys, here's a safety parlay plug. I get it. You're watching the video. And if you're already a premium member, you don't want to hear about it. In that case, just click the button, fast forward. If you're not a premium member, I would encourage you to become one because A, that's what funds everything that we do. And B, I would argue it's the greatest value in this space, period. If you could find somebody else offering a premium type product, that is anywhere near the value that we have, let me know. One of the highlights of premium membership is the safety parlay. It hits at over a 70% event rate. So over 70% of the events that we do a safety parlay for, it wins. It's averaging almost two units of monthly profit. And before you say, yeah, two units, that's from one single bet. 1.79 units of net monthly profit on average, and we have hit six of the last seven safety parlays. The UFC Vegas 84 safety parlay is up right now as of the filming of this, and the UFC 297 safety parlay should be up shortly. I already have one built out. I haven't pulled the trigger yet because I'm waiting to see where the odds go. Either way, guys, we own picks.com. Click become a member. It's only $10 a month. You're going to get everything. This is just one of the few things that we offer. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.